finally got to explain all the arguments that we have had on paper for so many years about the murder plot against Julian, about his right to publish ex to expose war crimes, uh, about all the abuses that the US have engaged in, and I don't know what happens from here, uh, but it's on the record now, and there's a captive audience inside the court, including a lot of journalists, and whether they report it or not, they were there and they heard it. And what is the perspective from now going forward? What do you hope? We don't know what happens next. Julian is still at risk of being put on a plane as soon as the decision comes down, if it's a negative decision against him. Um, we'll, of course, try to go to the European Court of Human Rights if he loses. Uh, but. The critical thing is that there needs to be a mass mobilization, just like there has been in the last 48 hours. The turnout has been incredible. And that is what protects Julian. It is protective. It is really, really important that people keep on showing up because um, they'll take him away if they can get away with it. So uh, he, needs to, he needs your support. And uh, with your support, we can free him. And how can we support him? You can support by uh, coming to the protests, by donating uh, to the legal fees in the campaign, uh, by going to uh, my website to see the free Assange uh, emergency toolkit, stellaassange.com has it, um, by following me on social media and free Assange news as well, uh, Assange Defense in the US, the Australia campaign, uh, local organizations near wherever you are, join them, Stay, stay informed, keep uh, protesting, and it's not one action but many, and the accumulation of many actions, and there's an amazing community out there supporting Julian, and um, together we can set him free.